Josh with Strong Roots Healthy Farming and this is nursery build number three. So last time I showed you guys uh, we had the framing up but we didn't have any wind bracing uh, and that's exactly what this corner bracing is all about. Uh, it goes from the side here all the way down and it's in all four corners. Uh, that's really going to help uh, if the end walls get a solid wind. Uh, it's gonna just stiffen everything up. Also, another thing, last time is we didn't have our side supports here, our cross supports, and that's these guys here. Um, these are really nice, uh, just more load support, uh, keep everything straight. This is a uh, fencing top rail, so I mean it's not going to be as strong as your your manuf you know your manufactured stuff that you're going to get. So it's inch and three eighths. It is 14 gauge, uh, most of it. Uh, so it's a little bit stronger than what you would get from say Home Depot or Menards or wherever. But uh, that's where that's at. Uh, the next thing you notice is we have our end walls up, and uh, this end wall is set up for a 16 inch exhaust fan. Uh, that's what's going to be going in and uh, see if I can show you I have these nifty brackets uh, that go in with just an inch and three eighths top rail tension ring and then these posts uh, for the end wall go straight into the ground and then we did a dry pack for concrete um, just to keep them in place uh, it's not permanent by any means, but you could make it as permanent as you, as you need it to be. Uh, same thing on this side. As you can see, we have the door in. Uh, I like to get a clearance door, but you know this is a 36-inch storm door uh, with a sliding window. That's uh, a really nice exhaust circulation window that it'll that it'll give me with a with a screen. Uh, pretty happy. The end walls, same thing. They're into the ground about two feet and uh, tied in, leveled out, and then they have cross bracing board for it. Uh, then if you notice that our main heating source is a 36 gallon belly stove that we've made with a kit. Uh, we have to first fire this and get it rocking and rolling. Uh, I'll make a video about that and what I think and, and all that stuff. I just uh, didn't want to spend the $350 on something that I'm going to use, you know, for a couple months a year, and you know, it, it, it was really a budget killer. Uh, just use some barn panel, uh, you know, and it's repurposed here, as you can see, uh, as a deflection heat shield and uh, just heat shield and deflect the heat back into the greenhouse and go from there. And of course. As soon as we get the plastic on, we'll vent it out properly. Uh, everything tied in really nicely. This was quite the project for one person. Uh, it kind of it ate my lunch a couple times because it was cold. And, you know, working through the cold, you do what you got to do. Uh, but we're all ready to go. You can see that we have all of our C-channel in. Uh, for our wiggle wire and it goes all the way up the bows all the way down the sides around all the window entries and, and anywhere that there's going to be a penetration uh, you can see on the door we ran it out and when we put the plastic on we'll put the wiggle wire in and it should work out really nice so 
can see over here, we're doing this video right before plastic. It is finally sunny. It's about 45 degrees, but since it's sunny, I'm hoping that it's enough so that we don't have to restretch it. Uh, so I'm gonna try to bang this out. Probably take me till about five o'clock or so, but you know, that's it is what it is. If I don't get it done, then there'll be another day. So we'll we'll get it handled and work on that, and then I'll do a final build video for so to speak, and uh, hopefully we'll be done with that. And uh, then it'll just be accessories, tables, things like that. Josh with Strong Roots Healthy Farming, naturally grown for a better tomorrow, and remember, food is medicine. Thank you.